21 was the highest recorded year for fatal overdoses in the United States. And the majority of those deaths involved fentanyl, which was once manufactured by pharmaceuticals and prescribed to help cancer patients manage the pain. Now it is being illicitly produced and laced with more substances, often unbeknownst to the user. Erie News Now State Capitol correspondent Brendan Scanlon tells us about a new product to tell if a substance contains deadly synthetic opioids. We have that story out of Harrisburg tonight. According to the CDC, there were over 107,000 American lives lost in the 12-month period ending in January 2022. 75% of those were thought to be related to fentanyl. Dr. Jake Deutsch has practiced emergency medicine for over 25 years and works closely with opioid overdoses and the devastating impact of fentanyl. This is a significant problem. I mean, those numbers are the highest in recorded history. Experts suggest the rise is linked to the deadly combination of fentanyl with recreational recreational and illicit drugs like cocaine, methamphetamine, and heroin. It can take as little as two milligrams to kill an unsuspecting user with no tolerance. It's in pills, it's, you know, powders, of course. Um, there's many times that people have overdosed and not thought that they were at risk. Now Deutsch is advocating for a concept he believes will save lives, rapid at-home fentanyl testing strips. These are very, very practical for some of the most critical groups. You know, the idea is, is if this can be uh, perceived before it gets into somebody's system, we can reduce harm. Signify Analytics test strips and kits can detect the presence of fentanyl in liquid and powder substances within five minutes and with over 98% accuracy. Deutsch says the rapid test strips can save a life in six easy steps and that even one overdose prevented is a success. One or two lives that are saved is enough information for, for me to prove that this is incredibly important. Signify Analytics hopes to eventually be able to use data from positive tests to track potential harm and share that information with professionals and members of the community. Reporting in Harrisburg, I'm Brendan Scanland.